me personally, I think the next 12 months are gonna be a little bit rough and especially the next 24 when it comes to renewals. All right, so as we know, mortgage payments may be rising in the near future for a lot of homeowners who currently have fantastic rates on their mortgages. So when the home prices were at an all-time high in 2021 and 2022, we also saw mortgage rates at an all-time low, which meant some people were able to buy their first home or their second home and lock into a fantastic rate, potentially under 2% and we're talking fixed rate mortgages. So the issue we're gonna be having in the near future is these payments are going to be up for renewal. They're not able to continue having this low interest rate once their mortgage term is up. And the big concern when it comes to things like that is, now the big concern there is the fact that you may potentially have a mortgage payment of $2,000. However, the mortgage rates may be three times that amount when it comes up for renewal. So your mortgage payments potentially could be north of $4,000 or $5,000 per month if that's the case. So in today's news article on stories.com, we're going to cover the issues and the implications and give you guys some examples of what could potentially happen and what we need to be prepared for as the times move forward. Right. So we are back with another article here on stories.com. This article is titled, The Average Mortgage Holder is to see monthly payments rise nearly 30% in 2024. So the article goes, although economists widely predict interest rate cuts are in the cards for 2024, the average Canadian mortgage holder will still face significant increase in the monthly mortgage payment in the years ahead. And a new report from TD Economist predicts that there will be no escape from the higher rates. For Canadians facing mortgage renewal in the years and months ahead, by the end of 2023, nearly 50% of all mortgage holders will see their monthly payments increase in comparison to February 22, the months before the Bank of Canada embarked on their interest rates hike. By the end of 2024, we are gonna see that share rise to 65%. So in 12 short months, we're gonna see 65% of people up for renewal, and that's when we're really gonna to start to feel a lot of this pain. So for some Canadians, the increase to their monthly payments will be substantial, which will turn way on discretionary spending. So the fastest increase in interest rates in decades means Canadians with mortgages are renewing at rates that they had no way of predicting they would be dealing with when it came up for renewal. So with interest rates likely to remain higher for a longer period of time, families will need to devote more of their budget towards debt payment. Since mortgage stress test was introduced in 2018, all uninsured borrowers at federally regulated banks have had to qualify at an increased interest rate that is either 2% above their negotiated rate or 5.25%, whichever is higher. The same rules have applied to insured borrowers since 2021. The Bank of Canada raised its rates 0.25% to 5% in a 16 month span, which spiked mortgage rates roughly 300 basis points. Many Canadians are now facing their stress tested reality. For those who haven't locked in their rates, the shock is even higher. Now me personally, I am riding that wave as well. I wish I wasn't, but the variable wave has been a rough, rough ride for me to get through here. The report illustrates this by imaging on the chart above different payment scenarios for someone who bought the average price property for about 486,000 in July of 2018, with 20% down on a five-year mortgage. So upon renewal in 2023, someone who opted for a fixed rate mortgage would have seen their payments increase from roughly 2138 to 2438, or 300 per month. If they renew at 6%, while those who opted for a variable rate mortgage would have started off with a lower payment of 1835, their payments would be increasing by 570 for their fixed payment and 540 for variable payments upon renewal this year if they decide to lock in at 6%. About half of the mortgages that were outstanding before the tightening cycle began have yet to be impacted by the higher rates. We expect borrowing costs to come down over the next few years but remain higher than their pre-pandemic and pandemic era lows. Under our rate forecast, all mortgages that were entered between 2018 and 2022 are going to unfortunately face higher borrowing costs. 
Now, while the exact increase will depend on the types of mortgages and the amount of the original loan, and in the case of variable payments, variable rate mortgages, the path of interest rates, expect the average mortgage holder will see their monthly payments increase by nearly 30% by the end of 2024. Although this will lead to more Canadians cutting back on spending, a trend that has already begun to weigh on the growth of the Canadian real consumers. The mortgage renewal cycle will not be enough to trigger an economic crisis on its own. With a relatively resilient job market, in comparison to past economic downturns, nearly $140 billion in excess deposits sitting in Canadian banks, and the fact that the majority of all mortgage that was initiated in the past five years have undergone the stress test, they know that it should be enough to keep Canadians in place and to manage these higher monthly payments. Now, hearing all of that is great that they forecast that Canadians should not have any issues to actually make these payments going forward. But to me, the bigger concern is it's not just mortgages. When we're talking about the stress test that was undergone for a lot of these home buyers, yes, they could afford larger mortgage payments, but we are here in 2024 almost and the mortgage payments are not the only thing that we need to be concerned about. We've got higher gas, higher grocery, higher childcare. There's cost after cost after cost after cost. Everything is more expensive right now and it's not just the mortgages. So although people might be able to make their mortgage payments, they're going to have to decide, am I paying my mortgage or am I going out for dinner? Am I paying my phone bill or am I paying for my child's daycare? There's too many issues when it comes to people's ability to get through what we're dealing with right now financially and the struggles that some people are really, really dealing with already without these renewals taking place. So I think once these renewals happen, I think this article is not going to hold on to reality very well. Unfortunately, I think that there are going to be some people who are going to have a ton more issues and the stress test is not going to matter at all because there are so many other factors, as we've mentioned, that are going to affect their daily income and what they're spending. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you think that we're all going to be able to get through this because we had the stress test originally, or are you thinking that maybe I now have to downsize from my original purchase because I don't think I can actually maintain paying for all the food and all the excess that everything has gone up in cost plus my increased mortgage now. Me personally, I think the next 12 months are gonna be a little bit rough and especially the next 24 when it comes to renewals. And I think it's gonna be very eye-opening for a lot of home buyers who maybe overstretched themselves to begin with and are now gonna be slapped with this increased interest rate. If you've seen my other videos discussing the Bank of Canada and what I think they might do, I don't think it's going to be enough to help some of these people. Personally, I think it is going to be a little bit of a mess. So thank you for watching this video. Once again, this article is from stories.com. I'll have it linked down below if you want to read through it yourself. I'd love to know what your opinion is in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.